Hey, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. My name is Joe Beretta. Two crazy scientists walked into a bar, got drunk, and had a revelation recently. The tale of storage information has always been the same. New things are adopted as technology advances, and the old information stored on old devices has to be translated into this new technology. And this costs a lot of time and energy. Well, what if there was some way to store something in what you and Bernie and Nick Goldman referred to as a nano machine? They came to the beer laced revelation DNA. Soon humans will be able to apocalypse proof the world by storing all of civilization's information in DNA. Now the problem with storing information in DNA is that DNA is made up of base pairs and unless you're storing small simple messages a more elaborate storage system has to be devised. That said, it can be done as when George Church, a Harvard geneticist, stored his book on genetics including a JavaScript program, over 53,000 words, and 11 illustrations inside DNA. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, bro. Chill out. The reality is that this option of apocalypse proofing our existence is that making DNA is very expensive. But that's not deterring our two pub loving science geeks. Bernie and Goldman believe that eventually they could create a vault in like a dark, desolate area of the earth. No need for electricity. And if something happens, if we get like sent back to the dark ages, eventually after 10,000 years or so, when humans again realize that there's a common molecule among all living things, we'll be able to find this, you know, vault and learn about all of the languages lost due to the zombies. And all the pieces of art, all the theories that we have, all of our stupid uh, Just one problem. Just one? Several. The biggest? The important issue. The only real hiccup. I mean, I'm no scientist. I know anything. It's just uh, What if maybe. What if. Perhaps. What if. This, this already, already happened. happened. What if there was an apocalypse already? We've already discovered everything and now. And then there's a vault of incredibly complex constructed DNA in the North Pole or somewhere else is fantastical holding all of the things we didn't know or don't know but we or knew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And if that's the case, who's to say this all hasn't happened a million times over and if the one thing that's constant in both our ability to to store everything in DNA and our ability to accidentally wipe ourselves off of the planet, then well, what if it's the DNA storage that causes the apocalypse? Ah, no! Ah, ah, no! Ah, no! Ah, no! Can we go to the bar and discuss this more in depth? Maybe have a couple beers? I feel like we kind of owe it to all humankind. Just don't you think we would have found the vault by now? What if it's somehow coded into us already? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if we are the vault? Yeah, well, are you getting an IPA? I don't know, maybe a shock top. I'm feeling citrusy today. Oh, yeah, I get that. <laughs>